don't wanna do it, but I ain't afraid to die. Lord knows I ain't perfect, I ain't tryna tell a lot. It's understood and I ain't hearing all that woulda, coulda, shut up. Tryna say you want peace, then you burn the moon. It was my God's honest that I was all about a non violent approach, but it seems truth with a non topic. See, we're originally from Detroit. They had a certain shift in certain neighborhoods where they didn't patrol. They didn't work. They wouldn't answer a call. Yeah, I mean. Too dangerous. They've given up. I mean, I had an instance where I was actually being followed by a fake cop who was trying to shoot at my vehicle and shot my vehicle twice. We had somebody call 911 twice. 911 hung up on us twice, didn't try to call us back, and nobody ever was sent. And it's not so much cowardice either. It's no. kind of like they've given up. It's just like why, yeah, they have. In a lot of it's, it's, no, it, it's cowardice. You think yeah, so? I, I mean, mean I would give saying, up. But, you know, yeah. I'm not a police officer, so I cannot speak in that realm, you know. Um, but I would think if you're going to apply for that job and, and not just be a, do a cop sitting at a desk and you're going to be out doing the work that you should be prepared. Like these are things I'm going to probably have to face. So even if I'm scared, I'm going to have to go face them. Oh, Otherwise why be oh, it? Oh, yeah, okay. Let me know? put it in perspective for you. If you don't mind my asking, how old are you? Uh, 32. I'm 43. 32. Yesterday. All right. Are you the same person you were when you were 21? Oh, absolutely not. Man, that's the situation. You go in thinking things are one way. Right. You change and things are not the way that are conducive to who you want to be. Right. And you pretty much retire in place. Yeah. I, Which, yeah, like I, I said, so the alphas that are running out, they're doing the police work. Yeah. We're fine with that. Just get out of the way. Yeah. That totally makes that sense makes to sense. me. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. It really does. It does. Even it in makes business, sense. I've always been that person. It's like, I'm going to do something. It, it it could be partly cowardice, but what I wanted to ask is like, and I should maybe know the answer to this, but do you have any say so over where you serve as an officer or are you just kind of put somewhere? Well, it, that depends if you have, because I was so active as a rookie and I had an uncle who was a, a, a detective sergeant in major case, he had a phone call in personnel. So when I was leave, leaving Midtown, I got to choose to go uptown. Okay. And the way that conversation went was that he, he called me when my six months of field training were, were, were to be up. It's where I met my wife, by the way. We were rookie cops together. But, oh, um, wow. no kidding. She's yeah, a cop. Yeah. Too. She stayed in Manhattan South. That They really didn't want me in that borough. Um, <laughs> to, yeah, it's just not for me. In any event, he calls me up. He goes, so listen, I can, uh, wherever you want, I can get you anyway. You want to stay in Midtown South? You want to go to Midtown North? You can work in the theater district. I'm like, nah, I don't think I'm a good fit here, uh, Uncle Jack. Uh, I want to go up. Uh, I want to go up to the three four. He goes, what are you out of your mind? I'm like, yeah, a little bit. Look crazy on your edges. Uh, <laughs> that's where I want to go. My training detective is in the squad up there now. He says that's the place for me. He goes, listen, I can do that, but you don't need me for that contract. You can get the precinct drunk, who's the broom, you can do that contract. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. That's what I want. Get it done. He goes, I will under one condition. You can't tell your rant I had anything to do with it. <laughs> you screwed up and this is where they sent you. There you go. <laughs> so all you need is a small phone call if you want to go to a place that really needs police. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I wondered because a lot of times it's, it seems like some of these guys are in over their head in some of these neighborhoods. Like they yeah. just, they didn't expect it to be quite that wild, quite that violent. You know, like maybe somebody from like Oak Park, you know, which is a suburb just north of Detroit, right. ends up on the east side of Detroit. And it's a completely different. Yeah. You know, it's it, it's right. night and day. It's, it's. I mean, I can't, you know, I, I can't talk. I'd be terrified to be a police officer over there. I would be terrified. It was my God's honest that I was all about a non-violent approach, but it seems truth was a non-topic.